What is going on legends? Welcome back to another episode of the Oz Life Andy Fishing and this is another Sunday evening rig rundown. Today we're going to be doing two different ways to tie braid to swivels. Let's get straight into it. The first one that we're going to tie is the one that I use most regularly providing there isn't already something tied on to the other end of the swivel. You're only going to need three things and that is your braid, your swivel and you guessed it, some snips. First off, grab yourself some braid. Give yourself plenty of braid. Loop the braid back over. Top tip that I always do is wet the braid so it, it sits a lot more flush together. So the braid actually sort of sticks together a bit more. Feed that through. Eye of your swivel. This is a snap swivel. Just so it's sitting like that. Then you just want to be doing a simple overhand knot. Once you get to that stage, I tighten it down ever so slightly, but not all the way, so it's tight. And then with the end of your doubled up braid, just open that up and whatever you've got, whether it's a swivel, snap swivel, that just wants to get fed back through the loop of the braid. So what you end up with is that. Make sure, now with this part, make sure that you are pulling both parts, your tag end and your actual braid. You do not want to just be pulling one piece of braid on that. So pull that nice and tight, give it another wet, and that clinches. That will not fail. I've not had one of these fail yet. Just snip off your tag end. Easy as that. As always, we'll do a close up one now, just so anybody that's watching along and trying to do this, they can tie it with me. All right, going back through that again, grab your braid, double it back over, and then wet that. As you can see, that sits a lot tighter now. End of the doubled over braid goes through your swivel. So that sits on there like that. Tie an overhand knot. but do not pull it down all the way tight. Now you just open up the end of the braid, feed the swivel back through, pull both ends, tag and your braid. There we go. And that will just start. Make sure it's wet and then just pull it nice and tight. Cut off that tag end. And there you are, the Palomar knot. That will not fail and it is relatively easy. If you're tying knots, it's a very, very easy knot to do. Just sit at home practicing these knots before you get down the beach or on the surf or rocks and you'll be a pro in no time. Let's get straight into knot number two for tying braid to swivels. Now for the sake of the video, I have put a bit of leader onto the other end of this swivel because the Palomar can't be used now if you have leader tied onto the other end of the swivel. So this knot is great for that. Again, just grab yourself off some braid. Same again, you wanna double it back over because with this knot, if you don't double it over, the braid won't actually hold and it will slip back through. Feed it through. Now with this, the most important part is to keep your finger on top of the swivel to hold it in between the braid. So that is what you're looking at. Your finger goes on top, feed it round. This is just a double clinch knot basically. Wrap it five times I usually do. I, I think four is enough as well, but I think just out of habit five times. Now. If that braid, when you're down the beach as well, especially is in the wind, it's always worth just wetting that bit of braid again because it feeds through a lot easier. Feed the end back through the bottom loop and back up through that top loop. And that is your clinch knot. Wet that again. And same as before, really important that you pull both bits of braid so they work their way down at the same time. And that's beautiful. Just 
Cut off all the tug ends. And there's your clinch knot. Braid to swivel and your leader. We'll go through that again in slightly closer detail as we always do. So grab your braid, double it back on itself. So you have the loop there, wet that bit of braid. Feeding that through the other end of your swivel. And this is the most important part, a lot easier to tie it this way around rather than showing the camera up there. Finger goes in the middle there and then loop it round five times, five. And what I'll tend to do is wet that top loop again, it just makes it a lot easier pushing it back through. Wrap that loop through the bottom hole, back up through the top. So it looks like that. Pull that tight, wet the knot again, and then pull that nice and tight. There you go. Cut off the tags. Easy as that. And that's it, another rig rundown finished for another Sunday. Thanks again for watching, massive appreciation for all the support. I really hope that these rig rundowns are helping people that are just starting to get into fishing, helping them get out, chuck some lures, chuck some baits and hook up some fish. Don't forget to like the vid and I'll see you in the next one. Ho ho!